We'll get you back to the game in a moment. I'm Pat O'Brien in New York City, and coming up on the Prudential at the half, Bill Raftery and I will recap the playoff picture. There's plenty to talk about, including the Bulls' big victory over the 76ers at the Spectrum earlier. Michael Jordan took over the fourth quarter. He, along with Ed Neely, stepped it up to put Chicago in the driver's seat. They lead the series now 3-1. to one. We'll have reaction to that game and much, much more at a familiar place, the Prudential at the half. And right now, let's send you back out to courtside. And on this Mother's Day, Marie Jackson, Mark's mom, in the stands. Here's Mark. She's got a boot in there. You've got one, too. <laughs> Look at this. We got this. That's for Mother's Day. We don't wear it every week. Yeah. Hubie, what's Chuck Daly thinking? Patrick Ewing's played only seven minutes. His lead is three. Yeah, but except he's happy because he's ahead. The second half, you're going to say, okay, listen, we're going to play half the basketball. Let's see our strategy that we were talked about before. Double and triple team Ewing. Make the other guys beat you. You know... Uh, I think that Mark Jackson can post Isaiah in the low post, and I also think that Gerald Wilkins can get a shot anytime down inside, cutting from the other side of the floor versus Vinny Johnson. Now, this is the first time today to 1 3 1 half court trap. Thomas for three. Sally, unmolested for an offensive rebound. No one contested it. Well, I see, when you go half court and the shot goes up, all five guys must rebound because you have a small unit out there. Five-point lead for the Pistons, under two minutes to go in the first half. Detroit leading two games to one in this best-of-seven series. Sally rejects Oakley. They have three seconds on the clock. A three-point attempt by Newman. And Thomas winds up with another rebound. Nice steal by a steal by the Knicks. Wilkins. Walker. Newman. Whistle. And a foul against the Knicks. Newman and Rodman were pointing at each other. It'll be against Johnny Newman. Now watch the hustle by Elke. Gets a piece of the ball, makes the dive, and has the presence to roll it to Gerald Wilkins. What we had down at that other end here was uh, a loose ball foul. Newman pushing Rodman in the back in order to get what inside. Joe Dumars back in. Here places Mark Aguirre. And Mark Aguirre goes out of the game, scored a pair. Now right now we have Detroit with three guards in their lineup right now. Along with Sally and Rodman, the big three. Pistons looking to open up their biggest lead of this first half. Four on the shot clock. Thomas, that'll be off the mark. Great job by Gerald Wilkins. 24 second clock expires, but you're right. Gerald Wilkins not only pressured it, but got a piece. Let's go to Tim Brandt. Tim? All right, Dick. Stu Jackson keeps telling the New York Knicks they've got to raise their level of play, mainly because Pat Ewing's out, and also Maurice Cheeks has gotten a seven-minute rest. They've done that. They're diving on the floor. He wants more passing, more movement, rotating on defense, Dick. See, they can get that, Dick, just like we said. He can shoot up over the top of Isaiah. Mark Jackson is an excellent low post. You, you mentioned the fact that they could get the post up against Thomas, and they did there. Isaiah feels he can beat Mark off the dribble. Sally. Rodman tips it in. The Oakley is yelling to the rest of the Knicks. Come on. Everybody's got a rebound. Everybody's got a rebound. Just under 30 seconds to go and 18 on the shot clock. Detroit 5-5. You're the Knicks now. You want to keep it five and under because you've got a good opportunity here. Thomas now trailing Jackson. Newman with a runner off the glass. Wasn't the best shot opportunity at all for the Knicks. Now playing for the last shot. Rodman gets the basket in the foul. He was hit hard, but scored anyway. And the biggest lead of the game right now by the Pistons. They're up by seven, and they can make it eight. Ah, they're pumped up. Watch the hustle here now. See, they look up now. Vinny sees Rodman, gives it. Now watch how he puts it in the left hand. Go goes strong. Dennis does an excellent job from that left side of the lane. You know, he, he looks like you can bump him off, but he has excellent upper body strength. Mark Jackson picked up the foul. Knicks playing for the last shot. And they'll call a Knicks foul on Mark Jackson. Stu Jackson is going wild. 
Well, you see, you're Sue Jackson, yet you're frustrated because you wanted to get the last shot. Now Detroit with five and a half seconds, you're going to get a good shot opportunity right now. Vinny Johnson hits the shot, and the Pistons really rolling it on when the Knicks were down by five and had a chance to cut it to three. They're trailing by nine at the buzzer, and with Ewing out of there playing only seven minutes, Detroit made a statement late in the period, and Vinny Johnson scored eight points coming off the bench, and that is the end of the first half with the score. The Pistons 51 and the Knicks 42. Pat O'Brien and Bill Raftery will be along with the Prudential at the half after this message. CBS Sports presents the Prudential at the half. Sponsored by the companies of the Prudential. Come to the Prudential and build your future on the rock. And our score at the half, Detroit leads New York 51 to 42. And hi again, everybody. I'm Pat O'Brien, along with Bill Raftery. And welcome again to the Prudential at the half. There's another uh, conference semifinal going on in Phoenix right now. The Lakers trail the Suns 56 to 42. And for a taste of a game that has been really all Phoenix, let's send you out to Veterans Memorial Coliseum and Vern Lundquist and Len Amore. They'll be calling the action for you, fellas. What's going on? Welcome, those of you who've been watching the Detroit New York game. We've got 118 to go before halftime. AC Green for the Lakers hits two, but that only managed to shave the margin to 58 46. The Phoenix Suns, behind Jeff Hornacek's 16 first quarter points, jumped out to a 14 point lead at the end of the first period. Their lead currently is 58 46 in the final minute of the first half. And notwithstanding the hot shooting, the Suns have just out muscled, out hustled the Los Angeles Lakers, who right now seem very tired. Dan Marley. Two more. Now, there has been a lethargy to this Los Angeles attack. James Worthy falls down as he tries to take his position in the low post. Now that cleared out for Magic Johnson, who has hit about five hook shots now. He's got 23 points. So nearly half of the ledger for the Lakers in the first half. On 10 of 14 shooting. On a sec. Missed his last six shots, but the follow is good. by 14. And so they are rocking in the Coliseum mm -hmm. in Phoenix, Bill. Let's return to the East, where earlier today on CBS we saw the Bulls uh, beat the 76ers in Game 4 of their best of semi-final series. Here's how that action unfolded inside the Spectrum in Philadelphia. The action was fast and furious at the Spectrum, where Philly hoped the home court advantage would help them tie the series with Chicago. It looked like things were going the 76ers way, with Charles Barkley making a block, Percy Hawkins getting three of his 17 third quarter points. Chicago fought back with the help of Stacey King. Jordan was unstoppable down the stretch. He had 45 points. The Bulls lead 3-1 in the series. We said all along we could win this game uh, with or without Scotty. And, uh, you know, the guys believed in it. And uh, they went out there. We just kept believing the whole game that if we could catch this team and keep it close, that, uh, you know, we got that magic man that can uh, do wonderful things down the stretch of a ball game. I just said my free throw shooting calls us a game. If a man is searched hard enough, he can always find excuses. But in the end, a man has to be honest with himself. Maybe we can make Charles smile, because when we come back, a medley of the greatest oohs and ahs and oopses from around the NBA this year, as at the half, rolls on from sea to shining, shining sea, after this commercial and a word for your <laughs> local station. Stay with us.